How can I manage users on my Moodle site? As site administrator, you can see and do everything. This is a big responsibility. It's best to have only one or two administrators who are confident in their Moodle skills. If you really need to add a second site administrator, first make sure they have an account on the site and then add them from Site Administration, Users, Permissions, Site Administrators. Adding teachers and students is slightly different. Apart from administrators, all new users who log into Moodle have the role Authenticated User. They must be added to courses as students or teachers. They don't have the role of student or teacher across the whole site. Why not? Because when you are a student or teacher in a school or university, you usually study or teach a certain number of subjects, but you don't study or teach every subject available in the school or university. In fact, you could even teach one subject and be a student in an evening class in a different subject. Moodle works the same way. Moodle offers a number of standard roles you can give to users in courses, categories or, if necessary, throughout the site. You can see them from Site Administration, Users, Permissions, Define Roles. The administrator isn't there because the admin can do everything and you can't restrict their role. As a beginner admin, it's fine to leave these roles and settings as default. Managers act like lesser admins. You can give this role to someone and allow them to do certain tasks but not others, either in the site as a whole or in a course category. Teachers can add, edit and delete activities in courses and non-editing teachers can grade activities but not change the course activities. Moodle also allows you to use custom roles for specific tasks. See the documentation for examples of custom roles. To allow a role to do something or to prevent a role from doing something, you must modify the capability for that role. Example, we want to prevent teachers from manually enrolling participants. We click the icon next to the editing teacher role. Note how this role is assigned in a course and an activity but not the site. That's because teachers don't teach everywhere in an organisation, as mentioned before. Clicking Show Advanced displays the full selection of options for each capability and clicking the links takes you to the documentation for that particular capability. We scroll down to Manual Enrolments and change Enroll Manual Enroll to Prevent. This is just one example of what you can do with capabilities and permissions. It's a very complex and powerful feature. Find out more in the documentation and ask in the Moodle community forums. To summarise, Moodle has standard roles you can assign to users. Roles are assigned in a context such as a course. Teachers and students are usually given their roles within courses. Admins can add or withdraw permissions by modifying the appropriate capability.